Hi all, it's David here from DP Computing. Today we're just going to do a um, teardown of a Toshiba Satellite Pro C50-B. Now before we start, um, please remember to take anti-static precautions and also proceed at your own risk. So if you damage your machine, don't blame me. Um, now first thing we have to do is remove well, this is the actual underside of the unit. And the first thing we have to do is remove the battery, which is sitting here. Also make sure it's not plugged in, which the power plug just goes into the top right here or bottom left on your, on your view. Um, now, as I said, the battery is located here and it's held in by two screws. Now I've also removed all the screws from this unit and there's 15 screws in total. I'll just remove the battery then show you where all the screws are located. So first up, remove these two screws and then the battery itself will slide out. So that's the battery there. I'll just put that to one side. Now, all the um, screws locations. As I said, there's 15 screws. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we have to remove all those screws, and once they're all removed, we we'll take out the optical drive. Now, if you just want to get to the optical drive, which is on the side here, you can just remove the one screw there. Once that screw is removed, you can pull it out. And there's the optical drive. Um, it's just a model DVD writer, model SU-208. Now once all those screws are removed, they're just normal Phillips head screws, we have to open up the case. As I said, I've opened this up previously, but and it's not it's fairly straightforward, but you have to get a flathead screwdriver along all the base just to unclip it. Once it's all unclipped, you can actually remove it. And there we can see the ins insides of the um, unit. We've got space for the optical drive there, We've got the hard drive here memory there's two sockets so this one's only got one dim in we've got the fan heat sink and also another heat sink to the cpu which is just in there so there's not too much in here we can replace but you can clean out the fan with compressed air if need be you can put in some more memory or take out this one if you want to take it out there's two silver tabs at the side just push them outwards the memory will pop up you can then pull the memory out to put it back in again, just slide it in and then press down until you hear it click. Um, the hard drive itself is here, it's held in by two screws which are there, so remove those two screws. Um, these are silver screws unlike the screws holding in the case which are black screws. So these are again just normal Phillips head, just put them to the one side once they're removed you can slide the hard drive across so it gets uh, disengages the little adapter or plug or socket here and then you can pick it up now this hard drive is in a little it's got a very little as I said little cage thing there there's two screws holding it in plus this looks like some adhesive holding it in so just remove those two screws that are adhesive there and you should be able to take the hard drive out and then replace it with a new one or whatever you want to do there Put it back in, get it the right way around, which is the top of the hard drive there, and push it out and then push it in. Don't try and force it. If you try and force it, you may be doing something wrong. So once it's back in, um, the screw holes here should line up so you can screw it back in. Now there you go. There's just a quick um, tear down of a Toshiba Satellite Pro C50-B. Thank you for watching. And we've also got um, some videos of this model when we opened or did an unboxing for the first time and turning it on for the first time. So links to those videos should be on screen at the moment. Thank you for watching and also check out our YouTube channel for other um, teardowns and so forth. Thanks again. I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.